Hi, my name is Neil, and welcome to my E Grandpa YouTube channel. I call it E Grandpa because, of course, I have gray hair, a little bit on the older side, have grandkids, so a guy that likes electrical projects kind of fits. So, again, welcome to my YouTube channel, E Grandpa. This is the fourth electrical conversion project that I have completed. Uh, behind me are solar panels that we installed at our house. So essentially uh, all of our electrical needs are provided by the panels. My previous three electrical conversions were a motorcycle, a snowmobile, and my ATV. So this is my fourth. It's a 2008 Chevrolet Corvette that's been converted uh, to electric. The original powertrain was a 6.2 liter LS3 engine with a six-speed manual transmission. It now has a Tesla Model S sport motor and essentially the equivalent of a Tesla Model S batteries. The performance numbers would, would basically come out. I'm not fully testing yet but they'll be similar to the original Corvette and better than the rear-wheel drive Tesla Model S. The car is about 600 pounds heavier than the base Corvette with about a half tick of fuel. And it's about 800 pounds lighter than the equivalent Tesla Model S. Uh, so the performance should be better than Tesla and my intent is to be similar to the original Corvette. The range, my guesstimate is somewhere between two and 300 miles. It really depends on the quality of the batteries that I'm using. They're, they are used Tesla cells and uh, they're only as good as uh, the, the source. So we'll see. Um, from a design standpoint, they should be over 300 miles, but my guess is because they're used, they won't achieve that level. What I'd like to do is, uh, after this kickoff video, is follow up with five other, at least five other videos. I want to talk about my motor, the control system, the batteries, the ancillary equipment, such as power steering, power brakes, water circulation, and so on, or I should say coolant circulation. And lastly, how I integrated this whole electrical system with the existing Corvette 12 volt system and believe it or not that was probably the most challenging part of this whole project and I'm not completely done but it's acceptable for this stage so with that brief introduction let me do a little walk around and show you parts of the car so let me start this video seg segment with a walk around of the Corvette just showing what's unique to the electrical conversion on the surface, when you look at it, you really can't tell, other than I do have my, what I call, signature emblem badging, which is the electrical lightning blitz. That uh, is my way of telling people that it's electric. If you look at my other projects, you'll also see that badge on the, on the product. Walking around to the front, I did convert the headlights to LED. They look a little more modern and quite frankly use less electricity. These are similar to design the design that's in the C7 Corvette, where this is a C6. So it gives it a little bit more modern look. Going to the passenger side, you can see the again the signature badge. Then from the rear. Of course, there is no longer a gas engine, and so there's no need for exhaust pipes. And so when you look at the rear, that's what's unique. The, um, you can't see it on the video in the shadow, but there is a lower portion of the control box painted flat black. And that's where I put in the mechanism to actually control the electric motor, and more on that in a future video. The uh, backup lights are, have been converted to LED as well. 
So when I put it in reverse, those two lights come on. The tail lights have not been converted yet, but not really sure I'm going to, going to do that. Um, the appearance is unchanged with LED, so uh, not really a necessity. So uh, with that, I'm going to go up here and look on the inside. Given that the top's down, you can see. So from an interior standpoint, the only thing that's changed over the production Corvette is the center console. And uh, I'm going to go to a, um, a portrait foam form instead of landscape to get a better view of that console. So here's the center console. What you'll see is the area where the, the manual shifter was is now just a toggle switch with three indicator lights showing the direction of travel forward. Uh, neutral and also reverse and below that is the electrical start button and when that's energized it actually turns blue so as an operator you know when that is started to the right where the cup holders used to be is my master switch and quite frankly most of the time that will always be on given that I already have a 12 volt system that goes in parallel with that so that's really just used as an emergency traction pack electrical shutoff switch. Given the cup holders used to be there, we have in, in put in place uh, two cup holders uh, on the side of the console. The electrical information is provided by this simple device that you'll see in a lot of electrical conversions. And it gives me the key information of amp hour usage, which is sort of, I consider that like a reverse fuel gauge. The, the runtime, the amperage usage, and the voltage of the traction pack. Other than that, it's pretty much uh, a standard Corvette. This is a view of the front compartment of the Corvette. The actual uh, brake master cylinder is carryover. What you see here are two front battery packs, a lower and an upper, and uh, more on that in a subsequent video. I do need a radiator, and the fan does not run while I'm driving. It does run, and I control the speed of that when I'm charging. In front, you can see two key ancillary systems. On the left is the vacuum brake booster pump, and on the right is electric power steering. Again, more of those in a future video. And the electrical system is essentially what was on the original Corvette with some modifications. And down here, I'll walk around. Down here is the electrical water pump that circulates the, the coolant through the, the motor, the control system, and the charger. Walk around to the back. By the way, there's a, a tunnel tunnel battery, and then in the back is my fourth battery, which uh, so it gives me a total of four modules, and I get more detail later. And I still have plenty of room for carrying uh, weekend bags or uh, groceries and so on. So the car still is, has a, appropriate utility for this type of type of vehicle. Here he comes, his first stop, road, run. So what do you think? Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth? Yeah, no regen yet. Okay. To investigate that for Brakes work good. Okay, and power steering? Yes, there's power steering. Yes. Here he comes with his first, quote, speed test. 